Splish, splash, the tides of the oceans hit the sides of the boat. This was my first time on one of these speedboats, and by the looks of it, it would also be my last. Um, guys, can we please slow down? I think I'm getting sea- Before I could finish my statement, I had to throw up into a bucket. I loved the ocean. The only problem was my motion sickness. Ah, well, why don't you go inside and take a nap? Anna suggested. Yes, good idea, I replied. I went down the deck and took a deep slumber. I dreamt that I was in the middle of the ocean on a wooden raft. I panicked because I was the only one on the raft, and my cousins were nowhere to be found. Suddenly, the sky turned gloomy and covered with clouds. The tides of the sea started to shake my small raft back and forth. Strong winds made me lose my balance, and I fell into the water. Before I knew it, I was in the middle of a storm. Rain, wind, and even thunder. The waves were the size of mountains, and the worst was that I didn't know how to swim. I struggled to keep my head above water, but it was no use. Crash! A loud sound woke me up from my nightmare. W what Where am I? Oh, right. It, it was all just a dream. I told myself as I wiped the sweat from my forehead. That was truly one scary nightmare. Luckily, none of it was true. Or so I hope. As I got up from the bed, I noticed that the boat was no longer swaying back and forth. Huh? We must have hit land, I thought. But last time I checked, finding land didn't make your boat stay on a permanent 45 degree tilt. What was going on? I struggled to reach the surface and see what was causing the tilt. And to my surprise, we were indeed out of the ocean. As a matter of fact, we were several meters away from it. Oh, look! Anthony's finally awake! Pointed Annie. Dang it, Anna! Who taught you to park a boat? I jokingly asked. As my eyes adjusted to the bright rays of the sun, my nose started to bleed. I quickly pinched my nose and asked why they were all in swimsuits. Anna, Amy, Annie were the names of my three hot cousins. Anna was a couple of years older than me. Amy and I were the same age. The youngest was Annie, who was just a couple of months younger than Amy. Embarrassed that I saw her in her swimsuit, she threw a bottle of sunscreen to my head. Bonk! I fell off the bow and into the hot, grainy sand. Amy, being the more kind-hearted out of the three, quickly went to my aid. Anthony, are you okay? She asked as she tried to help me up. Amy was always kind and sweet towards me almost the complete opposite of Annie. The oldest Anna was a whole different story. She wouldn't bully me like Annie, but she instead would tease me. As a matter of fact, Anna was the only one that gave me the nickname Tony. You can imagine what type of girl Anna was by the way she talked to me. Naughty Tony, I'll have to punish you later. Anna winked as she teased me. This was bad. Three hot girls and one guy, alone on a strange island? What could possibly go wrong? Anna explained that since I went to sleep, that taking a dip into the ocean was going to be a good idea. Unfortunately, as they were changing into their swimsuit, Annie slipped on the sunscreen bottle and pushed the lever of the boat. The boat went all crazy, and they crashed into this island. The sun was still at its highest, meaning it was around noon. Luckily for the team, I was in the Boy Scouts at age 7, so I knew a thing or two about surviving in the wild. Okay, ladies, we're going to need some food and shelter, I suggested. Who made you the boss? I do what I want. Annie stomped her foot. Uh, okay, Anthony. Where should we start? Amy asked. I gave instructions to everyone about things they should prepare. I ordered the girls not to stray too far from the boat. And if anything were to happen to them, they should scream as loud as possible. I asked Annie to search the boat for first aid and any other stuff that we could use. Don't think. For a second, I'm letting you boss me around. She cried. I was already planning on searching the boat anyways, so ha! Joke's on you! I shook my head and proceeded to give out more instructions. I asked Anna if she could go look for a reliable source of water. Although we were on the beach, drinking ocean water was not the best idea. Sure, Tony dear, I'll find us some water, she said as she got to looking. Lastly, I asked Amy if she could help me look for some wood. Right now it was daytime, but it wasn't always going to stay like this. Nightfall would come, and we would need some source of warmth and heat. Into the jungle we went. There were so many plants and trees. It was all so green. Amy was clearly scared, but not I. 
I'd actually done some research on tropical islands. One can never be too prepared. Ah! Anthony, careful, snake! Anna cried, pointing. Relax, it's not even venomous. It won't bite us if we just walk around. Ah! Wh what was that? It sounded like a monster. Amy, chill. That's just a monkey howling. Ah! What, what is that green thing? It's looking at both of us at the same time. Amy, please. That's just a chameleon. Although Amy was kind-hearted and sweet, she also turned out to be a big scaredy cat. After a few hours of searching, we finally found some wood and brought it back to the boat. When we got back, we found Annie sunbathing under the sun. Uh, Annie, what are you doing? I asked. Can't you see I'm getting a tan? She replied. And what about the things I asked you to get? Annie just pointed to the side of the boat. A first aid, a flare gun, and some rope. It's like she just got tired of searching and just gave up. Why did my youngest cousin have to be like this? Amy and I took the time to set up camp and organize things. When suddenly... Grrr, sorry, that was my stomach. I skipped breakfast today. Amy stated embarrassed. It's okay, I'm actually a bit hungry myself. Do you girls like fish? They both nodded their heads with joy. I grabbed one of the sticks and sharpened it into a spear. Time to go fishing, I said as I dipped my feet into the cold ocean water. I threw the spear over and over, but no luck. The fish were just too fast for me to hit. Here, let me show you how it's done, Annie said as she took the spear from my hand. Annie, you know how to fish? Shh, she hushed me before I could finish my question. Moments of silence passed, and none of us moved an inch. Ah, uh, yeah! Hiya! Annie yelled as she threw the spear into the water. I could not believe it. I was outskilled by my younger female cousin. Annie kept throwing the spear over and over and eventually had a bucket full of fish ready to cook. I was so amazed I couldn't stop staring. What? I, I was just admiring your fishing skills. Lies. I bet you were checking me out the whole time. Bonk! She threw a fish at my face and I fell into the water. Well... At least now we had something to eat. I prepared a campfire and started to cook the fish. As I cooked, I noticed that Anna had yet to return. Where was she? Did she get lost? I asked the girls to keep cooking while I went to look for her. It was getting dark. I had to find Anna soon. I started to worry. I knew she was the oldest of the group, but nonetheless still a woman. That's when I heard it. It was singing. It sounded almost like an angel. I followed the soothing melody and found a waterfall. At the bottom of the waterfall was the source of the singing. Anna? What are you doing? My face quickly turned red. Tony? What are you doing here? My cousins and I used to be very close. We would play all day together. Everything from cops and robbers to playdates. We were all so very young. Our group was unbreakable. Or so we thought. One day, my uncle decided to move out of state, which meant I could no longer play with my cousins. Years passed, and I slowly started to forget about them. All the good times we shared were now just memories of the past. It wasn't until last week that I got a call from them saying they would come to visit me for the summer. My heart started to race. I was so excited that after so many years, I was finally going to see my cousins again. Anna, Amy, and Annie. I started to plan all the cool things we could do together. All the games we could play, I was more than ready to see them. Or so I thought. I don't know why I expected to see three little girls, but instead, I was greeted by three beautiful ladies. Hey, idiot, remember us? We're back, yelled Annie. H Hello, uh, Anthony? Amy said with shyness. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Missed us? Anna winked. No, this must be some sort of mistake. There's no way that these fine-looking ladies are the same cousins I used to play with. It took some time to get used to my new cousins. It's been many years, after all, almost a whole decade since I last saw them. I brought Anna back to the camp, and luckily for us, the fish were already cooked. We all gathered around the campfire and prepared to eat. We ate until our tummies were full. After that, it was bedtime. The boat had some sheets, so we used them to make some sort of beds. The fire slowly started to die out. We were all sleeping. That's when it happened. 
I got up to pee and accidentally slipped on the sunblock bottle. Without meaning to, I landed a kiss on Amy. Her eyes opened wide when my lips touched her. Great. Are you okay? She asked. We were both blushing. I simply nodded in embarrassment. Amy understood that it was an accident. Luckily, Anna and Annie were both sound asleep, or I'd be a dead man by now. The following day came, and we were rescued. As it turns out, the boat had a GPS tracking device, and that is how we were found and saved.